Alright, so I know that um, my troops are in kind of a narrow line here. Here you can see them. Uh, but the reason I'm doing that is because the Iberians are kind of weak uh, versus some of the Roman troops in hand-to-hand -hand combat, and so I'm keeping them in tight blocks for maneuverability and for morale reasons. Your troops tend to break easier when they're in thin lines and they get hit by cavalry or in other charges. Now the Romans are going to take forever to march up here. This is the AI's pathetic ability to command troops. They're going to reform about ten times on their way up here. And you'll notice I also took the high ground in order to give myself uh, as much advantage over the Romans as possible. And it looks like the Romans are massing all their spearmen straight towards my horses, which I um, am, of course, not going to allow that to happen. So they can run all of their troops over here to my flank if they want. Uh, really, the AI is stupid, and they'll just march uh, straight at your uh, straight at your cavalry because they consider it to be like one of the uh, most important targets. And here's some Histadi. I've got my whole big blob of cavalry here, and uh, the Romans have some Principes chasing me as well, but I'm going to run down those uh, Equites there. Here comes some Histadi. Alright, uh, we took out those Equites, and see, look, this is, this is what I'm talking about. The AI is just terrible. Um, while the whole fight should be up here on the hill, their entire army is chasing after my cavalry. Um, this is where, um, I mean, CA, I really love their game. It's a cool game, but they really, really should have done a better job um, in programming the AI. Okay, now we have a problem. The, uh, the Roman general has come and engaged my, um, my Iberian infantry, and that's a major problem. And uh, the reason being is, yeah, right here, I'm going to get a route going. Uh, I'm surprised my Iberians haven't routed right there. Oh, wow. My Iberians um, <laughs> killed the or beat the enemy general. That's amazing. Really surprises me, actually. And I'm gonna have to figure out why this thing's running at such low frame rates. It's really hard for me to control my troops, and um, I mean, it's really kind of making it annoying for me to make videos on Rome Total War at all. Um, which, of course, uh, really upsets me because <coughs> Rome Total War is probably uh, one of my favorite games to make videos. So. I know these are Triarii here, but I'm hoping the massive numbers of my cavalry can kind of help um, lead to a quick route, and it did. Uh, normally I wouldn't suggest doing that, but in this case the Romans' morale was poor, and um, I have a lot of cavalry. In fact, we just caused uh, another big chain right right there. And I'm just going to keep my... Um, my cavalry rolling right through all these Romans right here. Okay, those Principes there aren't one to route, because they uh, they tend to have better morale and stand their ground better. But now that they're completely surrounded by my horses, uh, they'll break. Okay, those Triarii back there finally routed. Come some regrouped Histadi. I'm gonna get all my Iberians lined up back here. Get my cavalry again. <coughs> uh, let's watch this unit of town watch get um, splattered here. Here they go. Oh yeah! Listen to the sweet gore noises. Wow, they just uh, pummeled that um, town watch unit. Not that I expected any less, but. Yeah, they pretty badly pummeled that town watch unit. And uh, let's watch these Iberians fight these town watch. Uh, my Iberians are uh, much upgraded, but Iberians would be better than town watch anyway. So there they easily cut them down. And the other unit of town watch ran away, seeing what was happening to their comrades. And let's go. Um, let's go see if we can knock out this incoming Roman army. I'm gonna run my Iberians up here. Oh, I forgot they have this um, artillery. Let's see if we can smack the artillery real quick. They're taking pot shots at my cavalry, and I really don't want them to hit my general. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna run away. 
away a little bit with my cavalry. We knocked out that Roman ballista. I'm trying to stay away from these triarii uh, that the Romans have down here. And the Romans are kind of trying to um, protect their artillery. And I'm going to go ahead and charge my infantry down here. Now they're tired and depleted, so um, I'm going to have to use my cavalry to support. But my cavalry is also going to take out this massive um, Roman general, which is going to be a tough job because my cavalry is tired and the Roman general is fresh. Oh, sweet. These Triarii just uh, straight up routed. Or no, that was Ballistas. The Triarii are still fighting. Um, these Principes here are putting up a good fight, as I expect, since they're better troops. But my Iberians are so upgraded that they're going to be able to stand their own um, with Principes. Here's that fight up close. It's like a pretty uh, epic battle here. So yeah, um, Iberians have to be pretty darn upgraded before they can stand up to uh, Principes, and if Principes are actually upgraded... The Roman Eagle is a Roman Chicken! <laughs> this is a day of triumph! The Roman oh man, that's dead. hilarious. Did you hear that? The Roman leader is a Roman Chicken. <laughs> oh man, that's some of the best commentary I've ever heard. I don't know why I even talk with good stuff like that going on. So, um... There goes the pretty much probably what was one of the last large armies the Julii have, unless they've moved into other territory that I just can't see in my map yet. And we're going to go ahead and end this battle. Okay, the Gauls were just asking me to give them Narbo Mardius back, which of course um, I will not do. And uh, the Gauls have some some. Oh look, man! I guess that here comes the Numidians. I'm getting pretty good at um, guessing exactly what the AI is going to do. Which, um, that's not good. Generally, you don't want to have a game where someone can guess uh, here uh, the enemy's every move, especially in a strategy game that kind of defeats the purpose. So, we're going to retrain as many of these depleted units as we can because the Romans are going to attack me this turn. And we're going to uh, basically just hold up uh, in Medio Lanum. And, uh,. I know I don't say all these city names right, and that's fine. I'm not really too worried about it, to be honest. Uh, build this and this, and then we'll put it on auto-manage. We don't have to worry about it. Okay. And see what I said? It, it takes pressure off me down here further south uh, when the Romans are busy. So now we're going to... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and auto-resolve this. Uh, again, I'm going to take a lot of losses. The Romans do have some decent troops there. Victory. So now Settle the Julii probably don't have a whole lot of territory left. It looks like they do own... Yeah, they own the low mountains up here, so they did move on some into Germania. So I'm not going to exterminate them in the next couple of turns. Uh, but I'm uh, those provinces that they hold up there don't make very much money. And they're really going to be um, uh, pretty cruddy uh, provinces for the Romans to have. Uh, they won't do them a whole lot of good as far as income or troop training or anything like that. Alright, I'm getting all my troops retrained. And we'll move up here and uh, take this city next. I don't remember the name of it right offhand. Alright, well I think we've had about enough action uh, for this episode of the Carthage Campaign. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will bring you more soon. But I will also, um, I had a lot of positive response to my Spore video. So I'll definitely show you some video from each um, each stage of the Spore game. And remember, that's uh, five stages. There's the Cell stage, Creature stage, Tribal stage, Civilization stage, and then the Space stage. And then there's also um, some cool missions in the Galactic um, Adventures expansion that I'll have to show you. But people seem to have a pretty positive response to that. So yes, there will be more of it. But I'm also going to continue making my Total War videos, so don't... don't um, don't think that there won't be plenty of time for all, because with my current schedule, when I get off work, I can easily come home and um, make some videos every day. So there'll be plenty of videos, don't worry. Anyway, signing off for now, and I'll see you all soon.